Hey guys, and welcome back to the A to Z of literature. Today we're gonna to look at the letter B and all of the things that have come to my mind when I think of the letter B in the world of literature. Literary terms, authors, works, anything really that comes to mind. And as I say, after the video, feel free to fill in the blanks below in the comments. Anything I missed, characters that come to your mind, um, it could be settings, anything really, please do get in touch in the comments. Make sure you share the video and hit the bell to be uh, notified as soon as I upload the next instalment. So I'll kick things off with literary terms today, and there's just one, and it's buildings Roman. Um, buildings Roman. Now I so basically, quite literally, a story that focuses on the uh, growth, the entire sort of lifespan sometimes of a character. They're often set up at the very start with. Um, gaps in learning or experience or dilemmas, could be moral dilemmas or obstacles to overcome and the book will see them rise to those challenges. Personal growth essentially. All right now for some characters as you can see a real mix of characters we've got Bluebeard. Um, this is from uh, Charles Perrault's uh, famous folktale. Bluebeard is a violent uh, wealthy nobleman who is in the habit of um, killing his wives. Um, a shocking, shocking folk tale. I'm not sure it's quite fairy tale, but certainly folklore and quite disturbing. I've also got Bilbo Baggins, our um, our thief, our hero from The Hobbit. Absolutely love Bilbo. Love Martin Freeman's um, performance of him in, in the film adaptation as well. Just absolutely love Bilbo. I love his um, his nervous energy. I love his his home comforts that he enjoys. Um, his indecision. Uh, it, everything about his character is just a bit of me. Uh, of course, Bridget Jones from Helen Fielding, 1995-ish, I think it came out. Um, the unlucky in love, 30-something, living in London and just trying to make sense of men and relationships and just about every aspect of her, of her personal intimate life. There were loads of famous works beginning with B that I found. Um, so a, a few of them are going to end up in any other business at the end of the video. Um, but the ones I've chosen are as follows. I've gone with Black Beauty, um, an absolutely fantastic book from the perspective of a horse and the treatment of horses and what they, the, you know, their likes and dislikes, their their comforts, their what makes them tick and what they enjoy and, and just the life story of a young horse, um, Black Beauty. It's a fantastic book, absolutely beautiful and um, really worth a read. Not too long, I'd, more, I'd call it a novella, um, but Black Beauty is brilliant. And I've gone with The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, one of his most famous works um, about a young girl whose mother is struggling to uh, take care of her, um, written from the perspective of death and the reader's relationship with the um, narrator is, is quite a complex and interesting one. You almost end up um, sympathising with death. It's, um, it's a great book. And finally, um, Bleak House, one of the most famous books of all time um, from Charles Dickens. And it's about so many things as a lot of his novels are, um, but it follows the life of Esther and it's, it focuses on inheritance and the judiciary system and how money changes people. It looks at the lives of people um, within the home and within the town. Um, a long book, but superb, superb. I love Charles Dickens and I know his work is quite daunting for some readers, but um, yeah, I, I really did enjoy Bleak House. And now for some authors. I've gone for Lyman Frank Baum, um, author of The Wizard of Oz and so much more. There, there's, it's so much more than The Wizard of Oz, but um, I've, I need to review him on my channel. I've read um, The Wizard of Oz a couple of times and it's just so good. Um, Baum is just one of the most creative, original sort of, I think, I think scene changing kind of writers. I think, I think his works are just fantastic. Um, I'd love to do a review of them on my channel soon. I've gone with William Blake, uh, one of the most famous poets of all time. Um, again, studied him at university, that's where I first discovered him. His poetry is fantastic. And of course, I have to include the Bronte sisters, Charlotte, Anne and Elizabeth. Um, I've read much of the Bronte's work and they are just superb. I mean, Jane Eyre is one of my favorite books of all time and I just, I can't speak highly enough of the Brontes. And I've looked into their lives, I've, I've done a lot of research on them and, and really enjoyed trying to understand their home life, their family dynamic, their challenges as female writers in the Victorian age. Um, I love me some Victorian women writers and um, I love the gothic elements, I love the romance uh, romance elements and there's just so much to their writing that is just an absolute gift uh, to the world of literature. Love the Brontes. And as for any other business, I've got uh, Beowulf, I've got BFG, the big friendly giant from Roald Dahl. Um, I also added um, Bellatrix the Strange, I couldn't leave Bellatrix out. And while I was on Bellatrix, I thought of Bella Swan as well. Um, again, playing a bit fast and loose with, with wherever they come under their surnames or their first names, but whatever. All right, guys, so that was B. Feel free to hit me up in the comments, fill in the blanks, anything I missed, um, what comes to your mind, what books have you read beginning with B, what characters did I miss out? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying the series. I look forward to seeing you in C um, in the A to Z of literature tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Feel free to share the video with book lovers you know, um, anybody who, share it with your most, you know, prolific reader. I'm sure they will, um, 
they'll take me to school as I say on what I missed here. See you around guys, take care.